and how many times when they needed it most did Michaela Skinner rise to the occasion? Well, this is the most difficult routine you will see in college gymnastics. My goodness. Two flips, two twists. 18-time All-American, 105 individual victories, and now a 10! She got a 10! Well, over the last three years, Michaela Skinner has dazzled fans with a skill and consistency rarely seen in collegiate gymnastics. And today, the Utah star and former alternate for the U.S. Olympic team announced she's giving her lifelong dream one more shot. Skinner will leave Utah in the hopes of making the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. She was invited to the national team camp in June and said if things don't work out, she plans to come back to Salt Lake for her senior year. She is a two-time NCAA individual champion and a 26-time All-American. And Michaela Skinner, kind enough to join us now on Playlist. Michaela, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure a lot went into this. So I'm, I'm just curious, when and how did you make the decision to pursue another shot at the Olympics? Well, the process was kind of hard. I took a lot of thought into this, and I knew this was going to be a really hard challenge for me to come back and try for the Olympics one last time. And I was just so excited. I kind of knew my decision a couple weeks ago, and I just didn't want to tell anyone because I wanted to um, get through nationals, get through Pac-12s, and worry and focus about the team before I announced anything. And so today, I guess, was finally the day that I got to let out the news, and I have just been so stoked, and I am ready to go back out there and just keep throwing the big skills that um, I just love to do. Obviously, you've had a, a ton of support um, at Utah since you've arrived there. A lot of people may not know you placed fourth at the all around at the 2016 Olympic trials. How have the last three years at Utah and with this program helped prepare you for this return to the international stage? Well, I mean, after the Olympics, I didn't even think that I was even going to go to college because I kind of was deciding if I wanted to go pro or not. But I really thought about it and decided I needed to get my degree and I wanted to try college gymnastics because it just seemed so fun and to have a team and the girls have your back and the sisterhood that we have. It's it's just amazing. I'm so glad that I made the decision to come to Utah and um, even just to work on my form, having you know Tom take a step back and work on my skills, work on my form, try to be perfect. It's just, it's been so fun. It's been a memory that will last a lifetime. The past three years have been such an amazing experience, especially coming to Utah and having 15,000 fans watch you at home meets and the crowd just supporting you and cheering you on every step of the way. And even having them cheer me on now that I have made the decision to try for, um, you know, 2020. 20. It's just the love and support. I could never ask for enough. It's it's just so amazing, and I love Utah. It's been my dream ever since I was a little girl to come here, and I'm so grateful that um, I decided to take a push and try college gymnastics. And the coaches, they're they're amazing. They are supporting me in every way, and I am beyond grateful for this team and just to be a U. You couldn't say it better than that. I've got one more for you, and then we'll let you go. Megan Marsden, of course, one of those coaches who's been integral for you. She announced her retirement earlier this week. How would you describe what her legacy will be with Utah Gymnastics and that program? Megan is, she is amazing. She has been a mother to me since I've come to Utah. She has taught me so many life lessons that will last with me forever. She is an amazing role model, amazing friend, an amazing coach, even a mom, a second mom to me. It's, it's kind of, I wasn't really expecting her to retire this year, so um, I mean, it kind of was a shock to me that she finally announced it, but I am so grateful to be a part of this legacy and to be a part of this team where I could, you know, be coached by her. I mean, after Greg left, he left right before I had came, and having Megan, she she's she's amazing. I am so proud of her in every way and so proud of her for her retirement. She has so many great things ahead of her and I'm gonna miss her so much, but I know that she'll always be supporting the Red Rocks. She'll always be there. She'll be there coming into the gym and you know, she loves shopping. So uh, I know that <laughs> we'll always have a connection there. So <laughs> Megan is a wonderful person and she'll, she'll always be there. I love that. All right, well, Tom Farden mentioned he's holding the roster spot if you decide to come back for your senior season. I know Utah fans will be delighted to watch you on whatever stage you're competing on. Thank you so much, Michaela, for joining us, and best of luck. We're looking forward to seeing uh, all that's ahead for you. Thank you so much. Go Utes. 
shopping connections live forever. I just want to point that out. You heard Michaela mention her relationship there with Megan Marsden, Utah's co-head coach retiring this week after 35 years with the Red Rocks. That's a long time. We talked to her today about retirement and Michaela's decision to test the Olympic waters. Here was her take. I wish her well. I know it, I know it's 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 in her heart. Uh, it's something that she just has not been able to get over at this point and she wants to give it another shot and and not regret that she didn't try. And so uh, we are in full support of her and and hope that this goes well and uh, on on the back end whenever that might be we're looking forward to her return so that she can finish her degree and be a part of our program again as a senior.